Hey, what's up everybody? This is Ultima Shanatesh from Synergy Fitness and Mixed Martial Arts. I'm here to do a fight analysis video. I'm going to talk about why is head movement important even in a kickboxing match. And we're looking at Iron Mike Zambides versus Shannon F-16 Forrester. This is under kickboxing rules. It was for the World Super Welterweight title. Okay. So let's get things started. Uh, Mike Zambidi's landed one of uh, the best combinations I've ever seen in a kickboxing match, and here it is. And you'll see why he was able to land this in a few moments. All right, take a look at this. If you look at the last uppercut, which landed right here. If I can only get that frame, hold on. Okay. After this right hand that landed from here, he should have rolled with the punch. Now, why would he why would he roll? Well, there's a very good reason for that. You see, when it came from this side, right? Zambides opened up his uh, He knew that uh, before coming to this fight, Zambides knew that uh, Shannon Forrester is a Muay Thai fighter and he is boxing uh, sorry he is fighting under kickboxing rules which means he's not allowed to use knees or elbows so he can't clinch when he used this punch Zambides he covered up but he did not move his head now it's common in Muay Thai fighters to not move their heads okay so that is the reason why this uh, punch actually did not, uh, he did not roll with this punch. Now because he did not roll with this punch, that's right here, that landed on him. He's straight, he's pretty much straight like this, okay. Hold on a second, let me just uh, change the, uh, change the color. I'll change the color to yellow, okay. So we've got yellow here. He's upright, okay. More importantly, his guard is open from here. So this uppercut is going to come right here. So this is what we have. This is the setup that Mike Zambides used for a Muay Thai fighter to exploit his guard because they don't uh, move their heads a lot. So he came up with the right hook or right cross or the right hand because if you're a boxer you might not be allowed to throw a right hook. So this is what happened. He threw the right hand so he turned but he did not roll he blocked it effectively but he did not roll with the punch so he took full impact and that turned his head and now we'll see Mike Zambides land the the uppercut which is actually the left uppercut yes the left uppercut so let's see what happens now so you see he landed the left uppercut because he did not roll he didn't move his head so he was a stationary target during this time uh, let me just um, uh, let's let's just look at this again. Okay, see that right? He did not move his head. He was just stationary right there. I've got another example which I'll show you right here. And over here, you can see how he gets pounded a lot. He sta he's stationary target right here. Okay, so if you s if you look at uh, what's happening here, is that Zambides is landing a lot of punches because he's standing, he's not moving his head, he's just a sitting duck at this moment. And now he can b go he went around his guard right here. Look at this. This is this is important right here. And look look at the amount look now he's looking at where. Uh, looking at opportunities to attack right now, Zambides. So we're going to take a look at this. So looking, he's got a lot of options. He can he can land this punch over here. He can land this punch around his god. He can land this punch from top. He can use this punch to come across. He can, he's got a lot of options. I think he's going to take the a uh, take the body and the head route here. I'm not sure. But uh, this is all because he's not moving his head, so he's leaving himself open to a lot of punches. Okay, let's see what he's going to do. Oh yes, he used the uppercut as well as the right cross. 
So you can see a right hook actually, it was a right hook. So you can see that because he's not moving his head, this is the kind this is what a fighter sees when you're standing stationary in front of him. So remember guys, always move your head so that is gonna really help you. Otherwise you're gonna leave yourself open to punches like these if you've got a good fighter like Mike Zambides in front of you. Of course you're not gonna fight Mike Zambides ever, but um, this is this is something that you must consider when you're fighting. Alright guys, take care and uh, see you in the next video.